Hey everybody, this is John. I've just finished reading Born by Jeff Vandermeer. I wanted to share my thoughts on it because it was weirdly amazing and awesome and uh, unlike a lot of other novels that I've ever read. So I wanted to get my thoughts out there. Let me know if you've read it or not. And I, I just want to talk about it because it's such an awesome book. So I'll try to describe the plot as best I can because it's going to get a little weird, I think. Um, so there's this woman named Rachel who has found herself paired up with this guy named Wick. Now, Rachel she has a bit of a mysterious past. She uh, separated from her parents um, and she linked up with Wick, who is a former employee of this company and is literally called The Company. Uh, think of it as like a Google or Walmart or something else equally as terrible. So Wick, even though he's, he's no longer with the company, but the company is still this looming entity over this near, dis, near future dystopian world. Uh, everything is in ruins, basically. The river that they live by is completely contaminated. Uh, there's all sorts of destruction because of uh, Mother Nature not being treated so great by her humans. Uh, not so far off from where we actually are in our world, but this is in the near future where we completely screw up and everything is destroyed because of it. So the company has taken advantage of this situation. They are still doing all this testing, this uh, bioengineering as a big deal in this world. And so they have all sorts of like genetically modified animals and creatures and things, uh, including this massive uh, three stories tall bear when he's laying down called Mord. See, yeah, I told you this was going to get weird. So this massive bear named Mord resides over this vast... Uh, land in this area that Wick and Rachel live in. So they have to scavenge for supplies all while looking out for the company and Mord and um, this other character named the Magician who is kind of battling out with the company and all of this different stuff is going on. But basically we spend most of our time with Rachel and Wick. Um, and Rachel comes to find this creature, thing, blob, amoeba, whatever, uh, named Born. Born. So we don't know exactly what Born is. It's some sort of genetically modified thing. Um, and Rachel comes to fall in love with this thing. Uh, even though we find out down the line, it won't get too far down, down, down the line, but uh, he's not exactly what uh, Rachel thinks he is. He doesn't even know exactly what he is, but at the end of the day, he's kind of dangerous. And so the coolest part of this story is that how crazy fantastical and crazy sci-fi gets into like a 10 story bear walking around this land eating people and people scavenging and fighting and trying to survive and this weird creature named Born. It's not a person, it's not an animal, it's not quite a thing, but it's still living, but it's not. It's really weird, but it all goes back to uh, Rachel and Bourne's relationship. Rachel almost assumes this motherly figure to Bourne, uh, and it sparks a tension in the relationship between Wick and Rachel. And a lot of stuff happens along the way, but I really like the central focus of the story, no matter how crazy it gets. It's basically between a mother and her son or daughter or whatever Bourne is. Uh, and the path that a mother takes, you know, raising their child, quote unquote, and the way that a mother has to either, you know, let their child go or see them grow and possibly change and all of these different dynamics that we as humans go through uh, as parents, Rachel goes through with this thing named Born. So it, the book is a little bit slow moving. It's, it's not exactly action packed. Um, it has little pockets, especially at the end. Um, really, really cool ending. I don't want to spoil it, but... Uh, few twists and turns, you find out a lot more about Wick and Rachel's relationship, how they came to be, uh, a little bit more about Rachel's past and all that good stuff. So again, I don't want to get too spoilery, but um, it was a fun ride. It, it's really crazy to think of Jeff Vandermeer, the author, writing this story with just putting it all out there and acting like it's all normal. Um, it is a sci-fi book, but you can almost see yourself like in this area where they're living. Um, they, they have this balcony cliffs area with Rachel and Wick that they've booby trapped. It's like an old rundown apartment complex type of building, I believe. Um, but they've camouflaged it and all that good stuff. So it's this vast world, but you feel like you're in the fight in this hunt with Rachel and Wick and the other people that they come across and all that good stuff. So 
Born by Jeff Vandermeer is a weirdly awesome ride. It is really enjoyable. Um, I'm not a huge sci-fi person, but I love this one. And I, I would recommend it to somebody even who is not crazy about sci-fi. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you don't, uh, you can let me know. Let me hear about it. I'll take it. But um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on Born by Jeff Vandermeer if you've read it. So hit me up, let me know, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.